It's time for a game of fact or fiction. Thor Diakow with more. All right, guys, so excited about this one. It's the Vancouver Aquarium Sea Monsters Revealed. Nicole, this is so exciting. We're so excited to have you here, Thor. One of the most amazing things about this exhibit is that we're trying to reveal the true nature behind animals that were once thought to be monsters, like sharks. Yeah. Sharks aren't monsters, they're incredible. Look at this specimen here. One of the best things about this is that you can actually see that there's no bones no, in this shark's that's body. Amazing. It's all cartilage, even though they have a very similar skeleton to ours. And that makes them lightweight, they're able to move very fast, it's flexible, and that is the advantage on an evolutionary scale over bone, right? Exactly. And then in this particular specimen, and here, this mako shark that's been cross-sectioned like this, you can see all the muscle that attaches to that cartilage. So that is all the sort of uh, uh, solid areas in here that you see uh, amid, like surrounding the organs, exactly. right? Exactly. Almost everything, especially down here near the tail that you can see inside these cross-sections, right. all muscle, which is what makes the mako shark one of the fastest, if not the fastest, shark out there in the ocean. So a big part of the uh, the exhibition here is sort of cross-sections and getting a, a look at the inner anatomy of, uh, you know, monsters of the deep. Uh, but we're sort of just spelling a lot of myth and legend because uh, these things, you know, despite sort of old sort of folk tales and wild stories, uh, they're not really monsters. They're uh, important creatures in the, in the ocean and ecosystem, right? Absolutely. Creatures that are really, really useful, mm -hmm. beneficial, and keep everything in balance in our ocean, especially when we're talking about sharks. And this is incredible. Silky shark here, you can actually see the young inside uh, this cross section as well. Yeah, a lot of people think that sharks are mindless predators, monsters, right? But some sharks actually do give live birth, very similar to mammals. Wow, so cool. I love this one. So this is going on until Labor Day uh, weekend, right? Yep. And it's part of the general admission of the Vancouver Aquarium. It is. You can come on in whenever you come down. All right, cool. Thanks a lot, Nicole. Uh, Michelle, we've got uh, great stuff coming up at Sea Monsters Revealed here at the Vancouver Aquarium. I will even be handling a hagfish later on. You don't want to miss that. <laughs> okay, guys, we're at the Vancouver Aquarium. It is Sea Monsters Revealed here, and we've got a very special treat with you. We're going to be looking at a hagfish. You can find these now. They're a permanent fixture here at the Vancouver Aquarium, and uh, they are best known for a defense mechanism that allows them to slime. Uh, we're going to learn more about that with Nicole. And we this are getting some slime right holy now. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, so the hagfish, there's about 10 of them here. They're in the Treasures of the BC Coast exhibit, or the they wind, are, right? They are, that's right. Okay, and so what is happening here? this slime that I'm producing, that, or, well, sorry, that the hagfish is producing, and I'm getting out of here. Do you want to help me with this? Here, yeah. see all this stuff? You can just grab that. So the hagfish is currently expelling this from its body. It is, that's right. Look and this go. is a defense mechanism to get away from predators. You can see it comes off really Whoa, thick. It's like Thank gack. you for your help with this. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. And what is the benefit of this? What, like, so a predator will try and attack this, and then it gets a mouthful of slime. What, what is that? Just it tastes bad? Or oh what? well, it's just really sticky, Look as you that. can feel, and really hard. Okay. So it's just getting all over you. It's good, yeah, right? We're just getting dirty. Today. Yeah. And you know, this is—I I, should have worn this before, but not for the squeamish, maybe. But look at it go! <laughs> this is amazing. And the slime actually has some research benefits as well. It does right? there is some ongoing research happening in the world to see what the potential industrial elements of the slime could be? Right. So basically, because it's really thick and it gets really hard and really sticky and now I'm just making a mess everywhere there's the potential that it could actually be used to replace petroleum products which would Incredible. be great renewable resource right okay now the hagfish found quite widespread around the world including here in BC yes they're mainly scavengers right very much they live down at the bottom of the ocean in sort of silty areas and they're gonna go into the carcasses yes. of either dead animals or very close to dead animals and eat them from the inside out so if you want to talk about a Monster. I think that's what my nightmares are made of, right? No kidding, yeah. It's like tremors. <laughs> Very much. Like graboids. Exactly. I'm so, and it's again part of that balanced ecosystem, that sustainability, where uh, right down from like, you know, a big carcass, uh, when it sinks to the ocean floor, there are still elements of the ocean and the marine life that are helping to sort of clean everything up, right? Exactly. So, again, even animals that may be in your nightmares, that may look like monsters, they all are adapted to their environments and have a really important role in our ecosystems. Excellent. Thanks so much, Nicole. Fascinating stuff. We'll put them in the little tank and he has to rest here now. Exactly. Yeah, so now yeah. that's a resting exhibit, little pal pen for it. And uh, then we'll be able to collect the slime out of here. Do you want any more? Want to take any sure, home? Sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, reminds me of Bill Murray and Ghostbusters. <laughs> all right, guys, stick around because uh, we got Michelle with a weather update after the break, but uh, we're here uh, all morning long at the Vancouver Aquarium for Sea Monsters Revealed. Stick around. Yeah. 
the aquarium has uh, this the Canadian premiere of this uh, this exhibit as well, and it's going on until Labor Day, right? Absolutely, and there's so much you can see here. Yes, there is. Uh, we've barely scratched the surface. That's why you need to come down here. It's included in your general admission as well. Um, the sunfish. These I've seen these in Westport, Washington. We do get them in the waters here in BC as well, right? Absolutely. Usually on the west side of Vancouver Island near Tofino, if you were out in the water. Yeah. They are an incredible species because they're actually considered, although they are a fish, yeah. they're also considered to be a plankton. A lot that is bizarre. Right. They usually, you think plankton, you think really small things, but really plankton just means anything that can't swim against a current. And as impressive as these fish are, especially when you get to see inside of them, they can't swim against a current. They'll go wherever the water takes them. And the cross section that we see here with uh, with these exhibits, how does this actually work? Like this is sort of like the Body Works uh, exhibits, right? It's exactly the same process. It is, so yeah. all of the specimens here, they've been prepared through a term called plastination. Okay. Which basically it replaces the tissues and liquids inside the body right. with plastics. Excellent. Okay, and over here we've got a dolphin fish. This is more of a tropical species. I remember yeah. <laughs> uh, seeing these in Hawaii as well. And just another great example to show you the um, strange anatomy and the unique nature of all these fish because this is the fish monster section, right? Absolutely, and that's really the whole goal of this entire exhibit, is to reveal what's inside both the true anatomy and the true stories behind animals that we once thought were monsters. Because there's so many educational benefits to uh, to seeing some of these things, and you mentioned that you know what we thought of true monsters and folklore and things like that. Um, a lot of these giant sea creatures, like you may have seen a, a giant grouper hundreds of years ago thinking it was a monster, right? But we know so much about these species now. Exactly. Eels were thought to be sea serpents. Right. Yeah. Squids were thought to be krakens. <laughs> And we're going to explore all of that through the exhibit and some of the other programs going on as part of Sea Monsters Revealed at the Vancouver Aquarium. And talk to me about the uh, 4D theater really quickly, the, the, the special new movie. Oh, it's so much fun. You're going to travel 80 million years back in time yeah. to see prehistoric sea monsters coming right out of the screen at you. Love it. Perfect for spring break. Come on down once again until Labor Day. It's Sea Monsters Revealed. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was great having you. All right, guys, there you go. The perfect thing for spring break. Sea Monsters Revealed. Come down uh, now until uh, Labor Day at the Vancouver Aquarium. It's very cool stuff for the entire family.